So I gotta admit, this has been a crazy, wild, and unpredictable cruise, and in a lot of ways, not in a good way. As most of you know, for this cruise, I wasn't even supposed to originally be on this ship. I was supposed to sail on board the NCL Prima, and there were some technical errors, and then lo and behold, I ended up here. I lost my bag, which thankfully, Virgin has found out where my bag is. I'll talk about that on my other channel, Jay the Nomad, at 6 p.m., so be on the lookout for that. And we also had a situation where apparently, I guess, the floor caved in at the nightclub. There's con some construction going on over there. And last night, we had to rescue a group of refugees. Now, I'm going to show you guys the clips that are available. I gathered some because I could see everything that was going on right from my balcony behind me. And, uh, well, it was definitely kind of nerve-wracking and intense to actually see something like that unfold live. So I'll show you the clips and I'll go over the details after. So around 6 p.m. last night, local time, my ship, the Scarlet Lady with Virgin Voyages, started to turn around, and everybody was wondering what was going on. About 30 minutes later, we heard an announcement from the captain stating that they saw a ship that was in distress that may have refugees on it. So they shined the light on the ship. Lo and behold, there was at least a dozen people on a little boat, a raft, and well, there is maritime law in which there is a ship in distress. If there is such a case, the vessel that is able to offer aid and save those people in the ship in distress, well, they have to. It's the law. Now, whenever we got toward the ship, the boat rather, uh, it was, it was kind of hectic. Everybody was trying to get a good view and see what was going on, myself included. And all we heard from the boat with the refugees on, a lot of yelling and screaming. Now, I was eventually next to a woman that spoke Spanish, and she said that the refugees kept saying, we don't want to be saved, get away from us, we don't want to be saved. They kept yelling this over and over and over again. The Scarlet Lady, they had the light shined on them, and eventually they were taken off of the raft. And we got an announcement later on from the captain stating that the Coast Guard was going to come meet with us over off the coast of Key West. For your information, the Coast Guard is coming uh, shortly. There's already a patrol boat in that area. So we will not go nearby Key West as was the original plan. To complete our uh, transfer. Now, I do have to say, when situations like this happen, it's very, very tragic, it's very sad, and it does give a real perspective that the world, unfortunately, is not fair, and it makes people like me and, of course, everybody else on this ship realize how fortunate we are. Those people are trying to escape Cuba because they want to go to the United States, I'm assuming, for a better life. Meanwhile, on their way to the United States or wherever it was that they were going, they intersect with a cruise ship. The cruise ship makes them get on board to be saved and rescued and then after that Coast Guard takes them and unfortunately they will not make it to the United States. They will be deported and taken back over to Cuba and from that point who knows what could happen. I mean there's a lot of rumors circulating what happens when refugees flee and get taken back over to those areas. There's talks of jail time and everything else under the sun. Now it is like I said very very unfortunate and a lot of people for the rest of the night were kind of bummed out and for last night it was the biggest night here scarlet night where they had the giant pool party and everything and there were just people that obviously weren't in good spirits after seeing something like that take place a lot of the guests here are naturally thinking and here we are drinking our jack and cokes and having food and wine and all kinds of expensive cheeses meanwhile you have people that are downstairs that don't have this kind of life never probably will have this kind of life and all they want is a shot to be able to 
hopefully make their lives better and be able to build something for themselves. Like I said, it's just it's something that makes you really, really think and realize how fortunate you are. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for today's cruise news. Like I said, we had a situation because we have a nightclub on board called The Manor. Normally for Scarlet Night, it is a two-part feature where we have a giant pool party and then from there we go to The Manor and enjoy the rest of the night. I heard from the grapevine with some friends of mine that are crew, apparently the floor caved in they don't have much information it's kind of hush hush but uh, at some point i'll probably try to sneak in there and get a little bit of footage to see what actually happened but uh, from my understanding there's some construction going on over there some things being fixed stuff like that anyway guys it's my last day here on board the scarlet lady i do have some crazy stuff coming up and well interviews hopefully that's my plan to get that stuff done today that way i can put it on my patreon or something of that nature and give you guys something to well enjoy anyway guys i hope you enjoyed today's cruise news let me know your thoughts in the comment section below hit the like button on your way out it was weird that i say enjoy don't enjoy maybe reflect on what i talked about when it comes to the news but subscribe if you haven't already especially to my other channel jay the nomad i love you guys i appreciate all of you and i'll see you later take it easy